Hello friends, today I am here to intro another series vlog. Um, this time it is the Scandalous Highlanders series by Suzanne Enoch. I'm gonna have those here. Um, so full disclosure, I am already in the middle of book three. Uh, book one is The Devil Wears Kilts. Book two is Rogue with a Brogue. Book three is Mad, Mad, Bad, and Dangerous in Plaid. And book four is Some Like It Scott. So these are going to be my thoughts on, or my, my process of reading the series. Hey guys, so I actually started um, The Devil Wears... The Devil Wears Kilt. I wanted to say The Devil Wears a Kilt. Um, so this is book one. Uh, uh, I, I was a little hesitant starting out on this one because the hero is a bit much. Um, he's a bit more alpha than I guess I was expecting. I don't know. Uh, so it starts off the prologue is him it's his sister's 18th birthday, and she wants to go to London to have a coming out season. And basically, he tells her no because London isn't safe, and like there's just no way she's going. So she runs away. Uh, she runs away to London to stay with, I think it was the mom of this family, was friends with her mom. I'm a I don't think they've mentioned it, but I'm assuming both parents have passed away because it says he's the like leader of the clan. So the sister runs away to stay with his family in London and they figure it out. I think it said she was like 10 or 11 hours gone by the time they figured it out because they thought she was just hiding in her room upset. So he goes to London and he goes to this family's house and there's... A sister that's the same age as his sister who is also gonna have their her like coming out season <clears throat> but there's an older sister and at first he like at the first meeting he was really really rude to her and I didn't like that was the part where I was kind of just like ooh ooh but now um, I think I've read three chapters I read the prologue in chapters one and two, and so far, like, he's met them, and he's been really rude to them, but he's agreed to let his sister stay, because the older sister of the family, who is the heroine, um, Charlotte, I don't know how to pronounce his name, I'm not even going to attempt it, it would be terrible, um, but Charlotte basically kind of, like, told him, you know, if you want your sister to do what she, what you want her to do, you've got to let her make that choice. And he's he's kind of understanding that, but not really. Um, he hasn't figured it out yet, but we as the readers can figure out that he's agreed to this because he's intrigued by Charlotte. Uh, so they've gone. I think they're they're at the first ball now. Um, they've dan he and Charlotte have danced together. And he's being very protective, but I'm going to need him to figure it out a little bit sooner and stop just being, like, jerk protective. So, we'll see. Well, okay, so, I have, like, a hundred pages left to go. Um, I really like this. Um, so... He's come to London to find the sister. The sister is staying with this, like, family that their mom knew. Um, he's all, like, rough, tough, Scottish. <laughs> yeah. So, he and Charlotte kind of start to... They kind of start to... It's like a flirt fight type situation. And I really liked that. And then, uh, something happened at one of the parties that the sisters were, uh, <clears throat> I don't think it was their, like, debut. I think it was, like, one of the parties after their debut. And, uh, 
he kind of like causes a scene and Charlotte basically tells him off the next day you know like this is you're mad at something that happened I don't know it was like it's like history basically he's mad about the Scottish versus the English thing which I don't know much about honestly so like this is all lost on me as to exactly what his um what his issue is but like she basically tells him off and then he kind of like goes and thinks about it and he's like you know what I have been I have been like uh what's the word I have been, like, harping on this issue that I have with the English, and so, like, he's bought a house in London to show his sister and Charlotte that he's trying, and now one of the other brothers is there, because he came from Scotland after finding out that, uh, the, the hero bought, bought a house. One of the brothers was like, something's not right in this. So he's in London now. Uh, the sister has a or has like always had a crush on one of the friends of the brothers and if one of these books is not them getting together I'm gonna be so mad <sighs> but like I don't want to look yet so but yeah I have 100 pages left I have like just over 100 pages left to go which means things are about to fall apart um they did just hook up for the first time, but yeah, things are about to go terribly wrong because we are getting to that point of the story, so, oh boy. I finished it. So I didn't plan on reading that all in one night, but it is like 7.30 in the morning, and... The bookmark is gone. Uh, I don't know if I want to give it four or five stars. I really, really liked it. But the results, like, sometimes in series, I'm also like, this couple here that you're hinting at, um, I'm probably really going to like them. So it's like, can they all be five stars? Or do I save the five stars? And um, while I was reading it, I was listening, watching videos, and Crystal from Crystal's Bookish Life posted a Highlander recommendation, and she put book two in the recommendation video. And I kind of listened to what's going on with the brother in that one. And I'm like, can they all be five stars? Because like, I really want to give this one five stars. I really, really liked it. Um, a lot of it was, like, there was no actual, like, breakup conflict it was an outside conflict that was resolved beautifully um i really because like he's like a rough tough solve things with his fist always ready to fight scottish man and she's a gentle doesn't like violence because um she was engaged once and her fiance died in a duel so she doesn't like violence and i really felt like they found like middle ground to solve the outside conflict that he really could have easily solved with violence and like she kind of helps him see that that really won't like solve anything that it only kind of like escalates the situation more and I loved it y'all like I could not find a five star read in January at all and I think I, this, I think this would be like four or five in February I really think it was a five star. Like, I don't want... Part of me doesn't want to give it five stars. Because I feel like I need to save it. Because, like, if this is book one, it can only go uphill from here, right? But, like, I really want to give it five stars. I think I'm gonna. So... Wasn't really planning on starting it this soon. Um... I don't it's Wednesday I think I went to work last night but now I'm going back to the day shift and so I'm, I'm gonna be even more confused for a little bit but I started book two rogue with a brogue and so 
So this one is Aaron. He's the brother of the hero in book one. And during book one, he came to London to like see what was going on in that situation. And at the beginning of this one, they were at another like party, but this one was like a like a masquerade type thing. They had like faces covered. He runs into this girl. He's wearing a fox mask. He runs into a girl also wearing a fox mask and asks her to dance. And it turns out she's the daughter of a rival clan. And now they're like, the day after the ball, he went and found her and told her that like, he, knew who she, he knew who she was now and everything. And she knew then, but he didn't at the, when they danced. And so they made lunch plans, and now they're dealing with both families, telling them that they can't see each other. <sighs> yeah, this is going to be good. It's going to be so good. Um, I think I'm on, like, chapter four, something. Uh, yeah, so it's a lot of... I didn't expect to like this series that much, which sounds terrible, but yeah, it, I'm going to go read. <laughs> so I had to go back and look at what the last thing I recorded was. I'm sorry you can see the reflection of my glasses, but uh, I was tired. My eyes were tired, but I wanted to keep reading. So I took my contacts out, put my glasses on, and finished Rogue with a Broke. Finished. Um, it's it's Wednesday night. I don't know what time it is. I need to go to bed. But I finished it. I loved it. Um, I'm also going to give this one five stars. I am going to be devastated when I get to a book in this series that I don't absolutely love and want to get five stars. Um, I need recommendations for more Suzanne Enoch. Enoch, I know, Enoch, I think is how I've heard it said. I need more recommendations for series from her because I love this. Um, <clears throat> so this one, they're from Rival Clans and like they meet kind of accidentally they met and then secretly started to kind of talk to each other and then they are caught out and forbidden to see each other so they basically like run away because they meet in London but if they can get to Scotland they can get married I did uh yeah I, I also have my hair down and that's like throwing me off I don't normally have my hair down um yeah, they're trying to get to Scotland so they can get married and I'm shedding everywhere now that I played with my hair. Um, I like that in these books the conflict is not necessarily between the couples but just more about their situation and they have to work together to like solve the situation. Um, I just, I really, really loved it. I like this series a lot. Um, books, I think book three is going to be the sister and the friend. And then book four will go back to a brother. But I love this series a lot. Like a lot, a lot so far. <laughs> but for now, I'm going to go to bed. Good night. I will see you whenever I start book three. <laughs> so I didn't mean to. Um, it's Thursday morning. I think at like 11. Uh, I woke up earlier than I anticipated. And I started reading book three. Uh, like I'm obsessed with this right now. So I'm like I was going to try to... Excuse me, I'm reading a book on Kindle that I need to finish before the end of the month. 
for Black Author Readathon, but like, no. Does anybody else have this issue? I have the Kindle app on my phone and I read ebooks all the time. And then last year at tax return time, I got my return and I ordered an actual Kindle and now I like don't have the attention span to read an ebook. It's really frustrating because <laughs> I want to read ebooks because I like I know that will help me like get through more of the books that I want to read. A lot of the books I want to read are on KU. But like I just I ebooks do not hold my attention the same way a paperback will. I pour them down at this I don't know like Anyway, started reading this one. Um, this is the sister. Put that down that was weird. This is the sister and the brother's friend. There's a bit of an age gap. I think it's like I don't remember if it's six or eight years. I think it's six. But um at the beginning of the first book. <clears throat> at the beginning of the first book she ran off to London that's why the hero on that one went to, to London from Scotland to uh to like bring her back home uh now she's finished her debut season and they are back in Scotland for that brother's wedding and she's brought all this English all these English people like to the highlands to their home for the wedding and Lachlan I think that's how it's I, that's how I'm saying it is her brother's friend who she grew up with she always had a crush on she always figured she would marry him because it would be like strengthen the clan um she basically told him you know like I don't expect you to marry me it's fine whatever um i've grown up a lot in these past couple months that she was gone and he's kind of <clears throat> i think that conversation kind of made him see her more as an adult rather than the younger baby sister of his friends so uh, i don't know i think hygiene's are about to start hijinks i don't know what i think hijinks I think hijinks are about to start um he's kind of hinted at maybe like hitting on her friend to like make her show her jealousy and and I don't I hope not I hope not anyway I need to go do my makeup so I can get ready to go to work So I just filmed the intro to this video, so if that's why it looks familiar now, that's what happened. Um, so I only got a little bit further in uh, Mad, Bad, and Dangerous in Plaid. I, like, I, I think the last time I updated I said I was kind of worried about him maybe stringing her friend along, but nope. They went on their like first time spending time together, they went on a horseback ride. And he basically told the friend straight up, I think I might like her, uh, Rowena, the main character. And I was like, yes, 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 yes. That will make me root for you a whole lot more than had he strung the friend along. Uh, but not going to read much more tonight. Probably not any more tonight. I need to, I need to, I need to film, so. I'll pick this back up in the morning. I guess I'll stop for the day. Um, I'll pick this back up in the morning and update you at some point tomorrow. Hey guys, so it is Saturday. I stayed up last night when I got home from work and finished, I'm going to say it wrong, mad, bad, and dangerous in plaid. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. I just ate some chips and salsa and so my mouth is kind of on fire a little bit. I'm trying to like get it back to normal. Um, so I did really like this. Uh, I am only going to give it four stars. If I gave half ratings, it would probably be like a four and a half, but I don't do that. So my, 
Like, I don't have issues with it, so I don't want to say that. But, like, my thing about this one was there was so much in the middle where uh, Rowena and Lachlan were uh, kind of, like, sneaking around being like, well, we can't tell her brother because he won't understand. I'm like, okay. But, like, the only reason her brother was trying to arrange a marriage for her was because you both said that you were over the situation. And so, like, maybe if you just told him, then we wouldn't, like, we wouldn't be all this back and forth and having to sneak around and stuff like that. But that was my only thing about this one. I didn't love how long they were sneaking around. <coughs> <clears throat> but I did really, really like it. So I'm not gonna have time to start book four today. I'll probably start it in the morning. And so yeah, uh, book four is The Last Brother Bear. I don't know who his love interest is. I don't think we've met her. Um, there, I don't, I was, <laughs> I kept trying to like pay attention to scenes when he was in in book three to see maybe if we were getting a glimpse of who his love interest is. And there were these sisters, but he had apparently, like, kissed both of them. So I'm hoping that it's not either one of those. <laughs> um, that, yeah, no, thank you. But that probably will have to wait until, it will have to wait until tomorrow. I'm not gonna have time to start that today. But I, <clears throat> but I did really like book three, um, four stars. Loved it. Hey y'all, so it is Monday now and I actually had to go back and see what the last update I did was because just kind of remember, um, I have been reading some like it's Scott. I would say I'm probably a little over halfway done. Um, I don't know why I didn't update yesterday. I think I just wanted to read and then I went to work last night and then I've been up reading this morning, but I'm off today. So I'm going to finish this within the next little bit. Um, but I just wanted to come in here and update. This one is Bear Monroe. He's the uh, third brother in the McClary clan. I think is how you say it. Um, He's the third brother. We've seen him a little bit, but he hasn't really been in the books. Um, in books one and two, the other two brothers had gone to London and he stayed in Scotland. And then in book three, he was in it, but not a lot. Um, so I didn't really know what to expect from him. But he was breaking my heart a little bit at the beginning. Um, he kept kind of getting into fights with the other siblings or arguments with the other siblings about how they were married with kids. I think this is quite, I think it's like, I think he said it was 18 months after. I don't remember if it was after the third book or after the whole thing started in the first book. I don't know, but it's a little, it's been a bit of a time jump. And he's basically telling them, you know, like, marriage and babies is great for you, but that's not what I want. And they keep thinking that he's jealous of their situations. And he was breaking my heart a little bit because he kept being like, they only see me as the, like, rough brute of the family who can, like, rough people up when they need it. And that's all they see me for. That's all they see me, like, good for. And he was breaking my heart. Anyway, so he finds this, he's out hunting and he runs into this woman <clears throat> who is, she and her sister are kind of like hiding in this abandoned, I think, I think they said it's an abbey. I don't know. They're basically living in this abandoned building and he goes to start like helping them. Like he brings them food, he brings them blankets, he helps them stay hidden and then um, the most recent chapter that I've read, the brother who's the, uh, the laird of the clan, he like followed uh, Bear to the ruins. 
So one of the sisters, the one that Bear likes, is hiding. She's gone out for to fetch something. I forget what it was. Um, so she's hiding, so they don't find her, but he has to introduce them to the younger sister. And now the younger sister is living at the castle with them because the older brother offered her like shelter and protection and all that. And um Obviously, like, she had to go. She could only like, it would have been pretty sus- pretty suspicious if she said no. So she went with them, and now the older sister, the one the bear likes, is, like, basically on her own, and she's trying to tell him to go back and marry her sister and give her protection that way. And he's like, no, I don't want her. I want you. <sighs> and that's where we're at so far. Like I said, probably going to try to finish this within the next little bit and I will keep you updated. Hey guys, so it is Tuesday morning. Um I had a job interview this morning, hoping that went well. Um I think it did, but I'm just waiting to see now. Last night I finished Mad Bad and Dangerous and Plat. No. Some like it's Scott. I've seen the blue cover and thought that I'm gonna say it right this time and it's not even the right book. So I finished Some Like It's Got. Um, I liked this one a lot, too. Uh, It had a lot of uh, Monroe, Bear, this brother. Like I mentioned, I think I I did anyway. I should have went back and looked at what I said yesterday. Um, It had a lot of him being like, my siblings don't know what's best for me. They can't all get their own happily ending, happy endings and then expect me to just go along with whatever. And at the beginning of the book, his whatever he wanted was, like, not, not a domestic life. Like, he wasn't worried about finding a wife. He wasn't worried about having kids, anything like that. But then he met the heroine who, Cat, he kept calling her Wildcat. Yes, her name is Cat Catriona. We're going to call her cat. Uh, I thought it was real cute that he kept calling her Wildcat. Uh, she kept calling him Giant. I love nicknames in books. Um, yes. Nickname, nicknames are fabulous. Um, but I really liked their... I guess their dynamic is the word. Uh, he's this like tall, Scottish, rough and tough type guy. And she is, she was raised by her father because her mother passed away when she was really young. And basically she was raised as a boy. Um, She wears pants and she knows how to hunt and she knows how to like do all the things. But she doesn't know how to wear dresses. She doesn't know how to walk in heels. And I liked that he wasn't trying to make her do that. She did do that at the end, but that was her choice. She decided... Like, they came up with the plan together. I loved it. This one's going to get five stars, too. Um, The series was a big hit. I didn't expect to love it as much as I did. Let's see. Books one, two, and four were five stars. And book three was a four star. So, I'm going to call this one a success. So, that's going to be all for this series. The Scandalous Highlander series. I'm a big fan. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.